Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, it's so great to meet you. My name is Kaylee. I'm a certified health coach and I like to apply biblical perspective to what I am talking about. Today I'm talking about nutrition. There is a really intense misunderstanding or misconception that is being taught when it comes to holistic health, particularly about nutrition. I do not want to say that it is a blatant lie because it's not. And I think that most people who are buying into this incorrect way of teaching holistic healing and particularly in alignment with nutrition, I think they don't understand the misunderstanding that is there. What the wellness industry is telling us and selling us is that food, nutrition, is the foundation of our health. This is not true. And I know it's a bit bold to say that it's not true. So stick in with me and I'll explain why. The understanding that nutrition is the foundation of our health comes from holistic health. Your holistic health is your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health all working together either for the suffering or the flourishing of the person. Where the wellness industry is failing in teaching about holistic health is it is teaching that the physical, mental, and emotional aspects of your holistic health are the priority. And it particularly tells you that the physical one is the priority. Physical health is the easiest component of holistic health to market to. And following that, mental health and emotional health are very trendy right now. Everyone wants to talk about how your mental health and your physical health go hand in hand, but nobody wants to talk about the accountability for your emotional health and the foundation of your spiritual health. In true stabilizing of holistic health, your spiritual health is the foundational peace. But spiritual health is a lot harder to market to. And when spiritual health is marketed to, it's marketed in the form of rituals, items, knowledge, books, master classes, it's still a marketing scheme. So the wellness industry, which is the top marketer of holistic health and top educator of holistic health, is educating people on holistic health by prioritizing the physical, paying attention to the mental and emotional, but either altogether dropping the spiritual or deeply muddying the spiritual. Your spiritual health is not established on rituals that make you feel spiritually connected. Your spiritual health is established on your relationship with the creator. And I know that's a big thing to say, but it's true. When we are teaching that nutrition is the foundation of health, we are teaching that this is going to create for us the limit to which our health can go to. If you eat a certain way, if you eat a certain style, if you know all of your portions, all of your nutrition, all of your vitamins, all of these things, then your health is going to get so grounded and so stable that the limit is going to expand. It is teaching you that what goes into your body is what makes you clean and healthy and strong. But the scriptures say that it doesn't matter what goes into the body. That's not what defiles you. But what comes comes out of your mouth. Food will never heal what the heart will not surrender. You can feel better because you're eating good food, but that doesn't mean the motives of your thoughts and your character and your heart is changing at a soul level. Quite commonly, the wellness industry and wellness influencers and all of these spiritual gurus are teaching you that your feelings are facts and you should put faith into your feelings. Trust what you are feeling. And if you are relying on food and on rituals and on things outside of your relationship with Christ, your relationship with the creator, then you are dropping one fourth of your holistic health. You cannot satisfy the soul with worldly rituals that are only made to make you feel self-righteous. You've got to actually come to the creator and establish the foundation of your health and life on that rock. Then everything else comes into order. When we focus on facts and then faith and then feelings, the fact of what God's word teaches us, the faith in that word, our feelings come into order and alignment. It is the same thing with holistic health. If we prioritize our spiritual health, everything else starts to come into alignment because then you've got the connection of the creator moving through what you're doing. When we are prioritizing physical health, dropping off the spiritual health, and I mean dropping off soul connection to the creator, then all of the healing and all of the goodness we're experiencing is only flesh deep and it's temporary. 
The scriptures say in Matthew chapter 4 that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from God's mouth. When we are prioritizing the physical health in all of our holistic health understanding, and we are saying that nutrition is the foundation of our health, we're trying to live by bread alone, and it's not going to satisfy your soul. You can work as hard as you possibly can to exercise well, to eat right, to do all of the affirmations, all of the rituals, all of the habits, to consume all of the content from all of the influencers who are teaching you how to do wellness. You can apply hundreds of hours to that, and you will always have something that's missing because your soul isn't connected up with the foundation of being established on the rock with faith with Christ. It is a very literal, physical experience that God's word gives health to our body. There will always be something you're missing if you're relying on your own strength and your own understanding of health and you're prioritizing your physical health over the renewing of your mind and the sanctifying of your soul in Christ. Which one is everlasting? Your body or your soul? So which act of health will be everlasting? The health that you pump into your body or the health that you pump into your soul? And which one will have a greater impact? The body that encases the soul or the soul that fills the body? Do not misunderstand me and think that I am saying not to eat healthy. We can see from examples in the Bible, from the book of Daniel, that eating healthy is awesome. So when I say that nutrition has an untruth, I mean that it is not actively intentionally lying to us. People in the wellness industry, I hope, aren't actively intentionally lying, but they are missing a huge piece of the puzzle and charging a lot of money for a half-truth. Eating healthy food is important, but don't put your hope into food more so than you put your hope into the one who can heal you with his word. Everything other than your relationship with God and his eternal word is temporary and supplemental to the healing, direction, and love that he actually speaks over your life and speaks into you. If you've been trying to heal and you've been focusing on your holistic health, just reverse the prioritization. Focus on your spiritual health first. And by this, I mean your relationship with the great divine, the creator, Yahweh, the Lord God. Focus on your relationship with Christ. Focus on your soul <laughs> and its alignment with the Lord's will for your life. And also your understanding that he loves you and he sees you. Put this first and then Focus on your mind. Focus on that mental health. Start capturing these thoughts. Start breaking belief patterns. Start focusing on building up your faith by instilling the word into your mind. And then start paying attention to your emotions. Start paying attention to what are they telling you? What patterns are flowing? Are they coming from you or are they coming from an external influence? And then finally, instruct the physical health and experience it coming into order. The flesh is not stronger than God. The flesh is not stronger than the Holy Spirit. Our bodies are to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. When you welcome God in to every single cell, the body comes under order. Stop prioritizing the wrong thing. Prioritize your relationship and watch the rest come into his order and under his command. It's awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen, to hear me out, to watch this video. I appreciate you so much. I encourage you to go check out anything else on the channel. It's a new channel. I'm just getting it off the, off the ground and I post twice a week. Drop a comment below. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. God bless.